Toviyahu Tobit too. Now, when I was come home again, and my woman Chana was restored unto me, with my son Toviyahu, in the feast of Shavuot, which is the holy feast of the seven weeks, there was a good dinner prepared me, in the which I sat down to eat. And when I saw abundance of meat, I said to my son, Go and bring what poor man soever you shall find out of our brethren, who is mindful of Yahuwah, and lo, I tarry for you. But he came again and said, Father, one of our nation is strangled and is cast out in the marketplace. Then, before I had tasted of any meat, I started up and took him up into a room until the going down of the sun. Then I returned and washed myself and ate my meat in heaviness, remembering that the prophecy of Amach, as he said, Your feasts shall be turned into mourning, and all your mirth into lamentation. Therefore I wept, and after the going down of the sun, I went and made a grave and buried him. But my neighbors mocked me and said, This man is not yet afraid to be put to death for this matter, who fled away, and yet, lo, he buries the dead again. The same night also I returned from the burial and slept by the wall of my courtyard, being polluted, and my face was uncovered. And I knew not that there were sparrows in the wall, and my eyes being open, the sparrows muted warm dung into my eyes, and a whiteness came in my eyes, and I went to the physicians, but they helped me not. Moreover, Achi Karas did nourish me until I went into Elimias, and my woman Chana did take women's work to do. And when she had sent them home to the owners, they paid her wages and gave her also besides a kid. And when it was in my house and began to cry, I said unto her, From whence is this kid? Is it not stolen? Render it to the owners, for it is against the Torah to eat anything that is stolen. But she replied unto me, It was given for a gift more than the wages. Howbeit I did not believe her, but bade her render it to the owners. And I was abashed at her. But she replied upon me, Where are your alms and your righteous deeds? Behold, you and all your works are known.